Hi, I'm Matt Stevens, Director of Library Services at Purdue Global, and in this video we're going to review finding academic, scholarly research on the web. You likely conduct research on the web all the time already, like when you shop for a phone or pick which movie to see, or find a recipe for dinner. When you're researching on the web to help you with your decisions, you're looking for something in particular. What you're looking for is evidence to support your decisions. You also have to find evidence when writing a paper to back up your claims with reliable details. No reader is going to believe your arguments if you can't prove them. A great source of evidence you might not normally seek out on the web in your normal daily routine is academic scholarly research, which is the focus of this video. Arguably, the most traditional means of getting access to academic research journals has been through a university library. But what if you don't have that or are interested in what is available beyond your university library's collections? Researchers today are extremely lucky compared to researchers even a decade ago as scholarly, peer-reviewed research studies are more readily available today than they have ever been before. Academic scholarly research is written by experts in the field for other researchers and students in the same field and can provide strong evidence to cite in your own work. Over the next few minutes, we'll review some popular sites and strategies you can use to find academic research. We'll start with what is likely the most well-known site, Google Scholar. If you've never used Google Scholar, it allows you to search for citations to academic research studies and publications, as well as legal documents like case law. Although you might already be familiar with Google, let's review a few Google search tips to help you become a power searcher. Most of these will also help you using regular old Google instead of Google Scholar as well. The first tip is an easy tip to remember. Use quotation marks to tell almost any search engine you really want that exact phrase. And yes, when I said that, I was using air quotes with my hands. This is especially handy for names, like names of specific concepts, or institutions. You can also search for specific file types. Most academic research articles will be available in the PDF file type. Typing in file type colon PDF can be a quick way to weed out most citations that are behind a paywall. Most PDF links that appear in the results will be immediately readable. Though, not always, however, it's always worth a shot in my opinion to try out. You can also limit results by date range. Only interested in research in the past year? That's a quick click away. As is our final tip. Many of these options and others are also available from Google Scholar's advanced search page. This is a little hidden, but you can find it by clicking the hamburger menu icon to the left. Actually, there is one more tip. You can use something else if you want. Microsoft actually has a lesser known competing tool called Microsoft Academic. Its core functionality is similar to Google Scholar, but I recommend trying it out to see if its deeper features like browsing by topic and the organization of their search results appeal to you more. When searching on the web for academic research, you'll see citations to articles you can't read immediately without hitting a paywall. In response to this reality, a huge source of scholarly research that has become increasingly prevalent is open access journals. Open Access Publishing, or OA, is where instead of the academic journal putting all of its content behind a paywall that requires readers like us to pay to read an article or find a library that subscribes to it for them, articles are published openly and for free to everyone. To make this possible, the cost of publishing is funded through alternative means, often shifting the cost from the reader to the publisher or the author. The Directory of Open Access Journals is a popular, well-known site for finding open access research. Here you can find listed many different scholarly, scientific, open access publications from a cross-section of nearly all disciplines. You can search for articles by keyword or browse for specific journals in your field of interest. For medical and nursing research, visit PubMed Central provided by the U.S. National Library of Medicine. This resource provides full-text access to over 5 million articles in participating journals, which now number over 2,000. You can also go directly to an open access publisher site. Two large OA publishers worth checking out, depending on your discipline, are Biomed Central and PLOS1 or PLOS1. Nobody's ever actually told me how to pronounce that.
To close out our review of open resources, we can't neglect the digital resources available from your local public and state libraries. Don't forget that you very likely have a local public or other library near you. If you want to check the availability of a book or periodical you found, you can try worldcat.org where you can look up works and see if there are copies available local to you. Many public libraries and state libraries also provide digital academic resources. For example, citizens in Indiana, Georgia, and Florida all have state libraries with free access for citizens in the state from vendors like EBSCO and Gale. Contact your local public library for more details. We also have a guide that lists all the free resources we could find by state, which you can find on our website. That's it for all the web searching tips in this video. I really hope you found the video tutorial useful and wish you the best of luck in your research.